gonna give you a heads up in the beginning of this video because I know there's some people out there that don't want to be spoiled for this kind of thing. We are gonna be talking about the leaks that happened yesterday in this video. This is important, so you know, if you don't want to get spoiled, get off the video now. But if you do want to get spoiled, and you don't really care about the leaks, then we have to talk about this. Now, yesterday you all know about the hype train. Rayman was pretty much leaked for Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. In terms of where I stand on him being real and fake, I'm not going to specifically state that in this video. I'm going to save it for a series of logical, you know, real, re re real logical kind of videos later on that I'm going to be posting. But for now, I'm just kind of going to be riding the hype train. Still, this whole Rayman thing has everybody wondering just what the hell is going on and of course naturally everyone's been talking to Rayman's developer Ubisoft to see exactly what the hell is going on to see if we can get a response including myself where I made my own tweet to Ubisoft asking them what was going on with the whole Rayman DLC for Smash Brothers thing so this is a natural thing of course and now since the news has been spreading around because the leaks look so legitimate um, even big name news reporting websites like Screw Attack and whatnot have been getting on the bandwagon as well and asking Ubisoft exactly what's going on. And of course, none of us expected a real response. I mean, even in me making that tweet to Ubisoft, I didn't expect to hear anything from them in terms of if it was real or not. I mean, it's impossible. Why would they comment on that? Especially considering that it's news which resulted from a leak. Things that companies usually don't want to happen. However, things changed up a little bit, and I'm just trying to show you guys a tweet that I made to them. Not exactly the most professional thing I've done, but I really could care less. I'm still excited about the news. Um, I said Ubisoft, so my dick is throbbing right now, and my viewers and I would like to know what your thoughts are on this. And even though I guess it was an explicit message, it was a true message nonetheless, and the feelings were there. Maybe I, maybe I killed a little bit of my relationship with Ubisoft, but you know what? It's, it's still all in good fun. I mean, I asked Reggie fils if I could bear his children, so you know, I'm not exactly going to be the most professional guy on YouTube. But anyway, so, Ubisoft responded! They actually responded to a reputable name, Screw Attack. And of course, you should know Screw Attack. Very reputable name here on the internet. And here's the thing. Now this is a screw attack. Um, this is a screw attack article right here, and like I said, they're reputable. So there's no way that they're faking this or just saying it for hype. Now, if you were also keeping up with the Rayman hype from yesterday, you saw that the person who originally uploaded the Rayman leaked the video on him on this character select screen. That video was taken down, not by Nintendo, but by the guy himself. A very questionable move, which is raising a lot of eyebrows out there on the internet. But, when you think about it from the perspective of the guy, most likely being linked up to his job? Because, th think about it like this, I mean, Nintendo pretty much know who would be on top of this and who would be able to leak it if they had the ability to in this kind of a situation. All they gotta do is pick from a pool of people that they know have the game DLC early to some extent. Or maybe testers, or maybe um, the ESRB even, which everyone thought was impossible until summer 2014. So, I mean... Maybe he took it down to save his own ass, or to save someone else's ass. Either way, the video got taken down by the original uploader, but of course the internet. Doing what we do best, the video exists in a million other places now, so good job, motherfucker. Anyways, so we are going to be looking at this Screw Attack article right here. Rayman possibly a DLC character for Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. Update! A representative from Ubisoft said that the company is looking into the situation and they will make a statement on Tuesday. This raises some concern. The rest of the article, the rest of the article here is somewhat important, but it tells us stuff that we already know about the whole Rayman thing. It tells us everything that we already know. The fact of the matter is, is that Ubisoft responded to Screw Attack, and they said, um, we'll talk about it on Tuesday. Tuesday was what's going on, baby. Now, if we break down the statement even further, let's be real here. A rep said that the company is looking into the situation. Now, this is a little bit strange because if Rayman was in the game, and of course Ubisoft would know that, then why such a strange response? Oh, we'll, we'll, we're looking into the situation. That could be evidence for it being fake. But the fact that they're looking into it, but yet taking so long, like, if you need to look into it, then why does it take you so long to confirm it's fake if it's fake? If it was fake, would there be any reason to look into it? You just respond and say, no, he's not going to be in Smash Brothers. What the hell are you talking about? Don't misrepresent our PR like that. But no, they say we're looking into it. Could this mean that Ubisoft, when they say they're looking into it, they mean we're trying to find the son of a bitch that leaked this shit in the first place? 
Could that be what it is? I think that's more like what it is. Because to be honest with you, if these were fake, then why the hell would Ubisoft give us such a such a PR whitewash statement? We're looking into this, we'll, we'll hit you back on Tuesday. Ubisoft, you do get props for hitting us back up on this. You could have remained mum about it, you could have not done anything, you could have just simply done the research or looking into it like you said you were going to without letting us, the people, know anything. So the fact that you're talking to us is great, you know, you guys get props. I don't know if Nintendo is going to like that, but then again, Nintendo doesn't control Smash Brothers. Sakurai, Bandai Namco, say, oh. A bunch of different companies right now have their hand in Smash Brothers, so it's not necessarily a Nintendo first party game per se, but still, this is very interesting news here. So what do you guys think about this whole Ubisoft thing? Do you think them responding to us in general means that this is real? Right now, like I said, I wasn't going to tell you personal opinion in this video, but I'm going to have to. I mean, I'm a personal opinion based YouTube channel as it is. It's a lifestyles channel, dog. I gotta be able to put my own two cents into this shit. I think he's real. <laughs> I think he's fucking real. <laughs> I think he's real. He's gotta be real. It's too, it looks too good. It looks too good. There's so many things that prove to me that this is real, but we are gonna have to wait until you see my logical explanation breakdown video, which gets very descriptive and very, and it looks at all the details in terms of this whole Rayman leak thing. But don't worry, that'll be coming up later today, so keep your eyes open for that. I'll do my best not to, you know, lose my mind in those videos because, you know, those are gonna be more for research purposes, intensive, intensive breakdown of detail purposes. While well, these videos are usually just me losing my mind on camera, but as we know right now, the fucking hype train is still running on this bitch, baby, and the next stop is Ubisoft Montreal, motherfucker, let's go!